Good morning. I'm Travis Stroud. I'm the interim chief of police for the High Point Police Department. I've worked in the city of High Point for 26 years, and I am here today to read the one and only Ivan. I chose this book for a couple of reasons. Uh, first, I have a love for animals, and the title caught my eye when I was reading through a list of books. Um, and second, my wife is a former school teacher who collects a lot of books. And when I showed her the list of books, she specifically pointed this one out and said it was a good one. We actually have this one at home that she used to read to her students. So that attracted my attention as well. So to get started, The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. I am Ivan. I am a gorilla. It's not as easy as it looks. People call me the freeway gorilla, the eight at exit eight, the one and only Ivan, mighty silverback. The names are mine, but they're not me. I am Ivan, just Ivan, only Ivan. Humans waste words. They toss them like banana peels and leave them to rot. Everyone knows banana peels are the best part. I suppose you think gorillas can't understand you. Of course, you probably think we can't walk upright. Try knuckle walking for an hour. You tell me, which is way more fun. I've learned to understand human words over the years, but understanding human speech is not the same as understanding humans. Humans speak too much. They chatter like chimps, crowding the world with their noise, even when they have nothing to say. It took me some time to recognize all those human sounds, to weave the words into things, but I was patient. Patient is a useful way to be when you're an ape. Gorillas are as patient as stones. Humans, not so much. I used to be a wild gorilla. I still look the part. I have a gorilla's shy gaze, a gorilla's sly smile. I wear a snowy saddle of fur, the uniform of a silverback. When the sun warms my back, I cast a gorilla's majestic shadow. In my size, humans see a test of themselves. They hear fighting words on the wind, when all I'm thinking is how the late day sun reminds me of a ripe nectarine. I'm mightier than any human, 400 pounds of pure power. My body looks made for battle. My arms outstretched span taller than the tallest human. My family tree spreads wide as well. I am a great ape. You are a great ape. And so are the chimpanzees and the orangutans and the baboons, all of us distant, distrustful cousins. I know this is troubling. I find it too hard to believe there's a connection across time and space, linking me to a race of ill-mannered clowns. Chimps, there's no excuse for them. I live in a human habitat called the Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade. We are conveniently located off I-95, with two shows at 2, 4, and 7, 365 days a year. Matt works here at the mall. He is the boss. I work here too. I am the gorilla. At the Big Top Mall, creaky music carousel spins all day, and monkeys and parrots live amid the merchants. In the middle of the mall is a ring with benches where humans can sit on their rumps as they eat soft pretzels. The floor is covered with sawdust made of dead trees. My domain is at one end of the ring. I live here because I am too much gorilla and not enough human. Stella's domain is next to mine. Stella is an elephant. She and Bob, uh, who is a dog, are my dearest friends. At present, I do not have any gorilla friends. My domain is made of thick glass and rusty metal and rough cement. Stella's domain is made of metal bars. The sun bears domain is the wood. The parrots is wire mesh. Three of my walls are glass. One of them is cracked and a small piece about the size of my hand is missing from the bottom corner. 
I made the hole in the wall with a baseball mat, bat that Mac gave me for my sixth birthday. After that, he took the bat away, but he let me keep the baseball that came with it. A jungle scene is painted on one of my domain walls. It has a waterfall without water, flowers without scent, and trees without roots. I didn't paint it, but I enjoy the way the shapes flow across my wall, even if it isn't much of a jungle. I am lucky my domain has three windowed walls. I can see the whole mall, and there's a bit of the world beyond, the frantic pitfall machines, the pink billows of cotton candy, and the vast and treeless parking lot. Beyond the lot is a freeway where cars stampede without end. A giant sign at the edge beckons them to stop and rest like gazelles at a watering hole. The sign is faded, the color's bleeding, but I know what it says. Mac read its words aloud one day. Come to the exit, big, eight big top mall and video arcade, home of the one and only Ivan, mighty silverback. Sadly, I cannot read. Although I wish I could read, reading stories would make a fine way to fill my empty hours. Once, however, however, I was able to enjoy a book left in my domain by one of my keepers. It tasted like termite. The freeway billboard has a drawing of Mac in his clown clothes and Stella on her hind legs and an angry animal with fierce eyes and unkempt hair. That animal is supposed to be me. But the artist made a mistake. I am never angry. Anger is precious. A silverback uses anger to maintain order and warn his troop of danger. When my father beat his chest, it was to say, beware, listen, I am in charge. I am angry to protect you because that is what I was born to do. Here is my, in my domain, there is no one to protect. Again, my name is Travis Stroud. I'm the Interim Chief of Police, and I encourage you to come to the library and check out the one and only Ivan.